Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to download and install Program Editor from PCAX. Um, continuing from where I installed the AXE 027 USB cable driver, uh, click back onto Software, and hopefully this will work. Do, do, do. Um, now, you have a decision, uh, PCAX Editor version 6, or PCAX Programming Editor version 5. I prefer to go for the version 5 um, and hit the download. Then you need to go and um, go Program Editor Installer, which is that one. You can also install the patch afterwards as well. So I'm going to do a right click. Open a new tab, click Save File, right click, open a new tab, and that's the zip file. Uh, if you want to add the RTTL ringtones, obviously click there. Um, never had to run that one. So hopefully this will take a not very long to download. In fact, I might just pause that while it downloads. And, oh, there we are, it's finished. So do a right click, open containing folder. And you can either double click this or run as administrator. That's what I normally do. Yeah, of course I trust it. Doesn't take long to download and install, as you can see. Welcome to that, click next accept the terms and conditions. Obviously, you should read through all the small print, like every other contract. That's the school I work with. Uh, anyone uses a computer. And it installs itself under program files, dot, uh, sorry, bracket x86. Program editor. Click that, install. Doesn't take long. He says, embarrassing pause. There we go. Copy new file, file one, and finish. Excellent. So once you've done that, you can run it. So search. Uh, I okay. So typed in PI for Pickaxe Programming Editor. Owned it. Mac, uh, maximize it. Now the first thing you need to do: click Options. Um, we normally use the 08M2. Actually, I'm not sure if we use the new one now. Um, this is where you need to go in and configure. Okay, so COM4, ready for use. Click Apply. Click Mode. And then if you've got a board attached, and unfortunately I haven't at the moment, click Check Firmware Version, and if you have a good connection and your board is wired correctly, it'll come up with a little box saying, OK, you are connected to, and it'll tell you the number of the chip. If, however, you have the wrong chip selected, say we went and selected the Pickaxe 08 rather than the 08M2, uh, it would come along and in the dialog box, it would tell you which one it is when you click check firmware version. All right, good luck.